right, pay close attention. Let's see how much floor space we have in here now. Let me turn around. Not enough room to even pull my truck in here. Um, still have quite a bit more to do. I'm going to get this table uh, cleared, but where I want all that stuff to go is actually on this rack here. So a lot of this stuff's uh, don't yell at me, getting pitched. Um, but I want all the 292 engine stuff to be on that roll around cart. Um, so I I pack this corner pretty good, but everything's on wheels. So wheels, 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 wheels. All moves out really easy. All of and I found a I found five quarts of oil. Um, it's loaded, and I still have the, the pot, bottom two drawers are completely empty, and I still have room all over everywhere. So uh, we're in pretty good shape as far as. Uh, using this as the machinist box um, I'm not gonna go through it like I did Zippo's Green Giant you guys saw all the tools sitting out on the table that's what's in there now <laughs> most of it most of it I did do a bit more sorting and grabbed a few more things out in the one drawer that I emptied to put uh, all of my extractors and re-threaders and whatnot are in here there's a little smattering of uh, taps but in my travels i did find some left hand drill bits for anyone who doesn't know left hand drill bits are they're they're amazing at getting out uh bolts that the heads have broken off of you can see down there there's three i had the short one but i found two more uh, that's always a good thing right um, yeah, it is nice to have some floor space in here again, so now I can get to work again. What else did I do? Er, oh, one of the things that was uh, full of stuff was another cheese box. So I can, well, maybe hang another cheese box long as nobody yeah it's six foot five ish or so or i can just shorten the string we'll, we'll mount that cheese box up there i left myself some extra string up there so that i could add more in case more came in so let's see if we can just precariously jenga it right here well come here turn back around there we'll jenga it See how long it stays up there until it comes down on my head, comes crashes and burns. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of organizing here, but um, I did take my flex head uh, reversible ratchets and took those out to the garage. And that left me with this thing. Left me with that. By design, it left me with that because... I discovered something watching a tool channel. Olsa Tool super thin low profile. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. It's a five piece set that opened end on both ends, but this would be awesome for getting um, any backfire solenoids off of carburetors so you can see these guys are super super thin very thin so uh, are they going to stay in this nice pretty presentation foam unfortunately no why it takes up too much room room is at a premium my little wire thing is is uh, 
the way to go in my opinion but we go from a quarter inch to seven eighths without skipping anything so what do you think wait a minute i don't see 11 sixteenths ah we do not have a an 11 sixteenths so yes we did skip for shame i would have rather this went or five, I, w I would rather it would have gone to 11 sixteenths, three quarter, seven eighths. Or 13 sixteenths. I don't ever use 13 sixteenths. But anyway, uh, got those. They just came in the old uh, mailbox today. And the funny thing was, they came exactly like that. They were not in a box. They just had cellophane wrapped around them and the shipping decal was just stuck right to the cellophane. So that's how they arrived. And that box is in surprisingly good shape for having traveled through the USPS. Uh, in here, we'll see if we can't fish it out here real quick. Oh yeah, it's doing pretty good. Um, let me grab... needle nose um, I had these sitting out to get the rust off of them and I thought you know what why don't I just evapo rust them oh and they're coming out brilliant they're looking really nice they've been in there for about um, three hours and they were I mean red rust and I did not brush them off so I'll let them go ahead and just sit in there overnight. It's not going to hurt them. And evapo rust can be, re excuse me, evapo rust can be reused over and over and over again. Um, I've not stuck labels on yet. I have one label on, and that's right here, AC and crow's feet. And that's probably going to be the only one that I take off because I really don't use these enough. And I can keep one set. For like line wrenches in here and be just fine uh, yeah, these are Taiwanese and I think these down here are China no nope, they're Taiwan also and so are the Evercrafts well I, they're all Taiwan but having two sets that are like uh, crow's feet um, or that are like line wrenches is kind of nice so these will probably make their way back into the toolbox but i've just got my ac fittings in here it's the only other thing in here so but um i was asked uh, a really good question and one that i'm going to dive into right here uh, i was asked well, what's the purpose of this what do i use it for and what's the purpose of this and what will I use it for? You can see all of the different standoffs that this has. Different length standoffs, different types of stones. Different types of holders that will hold all the way down to 8th inch bits. And they will all fit on here. Um, to me, that's brilliant. Uh, it'll allow me to do fine grinding with this being fixed and that's the whole purpose for it so and it's good and quiet rpm is 4500 so it's not going to exceed um any of the ratings on these and then this one uh, actually came from my old job at delco remy and uh, its job was actually to go in and twist um, starter solenoid wires right before they got soldered. It just had this little cup on it and it'd just go zzz like that and twist the wires up so that the next machine that came over laid the wires down while it soldered them. So, you can see right here, wire stripper division, brush wire stripper division. Um, and that's what it did, you know, it stripped them to length and um, twisted them. But it is reversible, which 
is just monumental because if anybody knows like on an angle grinder you use a you know a cupped wire wheel those bristles are eventually going to lean over they're going to lean over enough that they their effectiveness uh, is greatly hindered when the effectiveness of this starts to get hindered from these bristles bending one way I can reverse it and get a real aggressive brush out of it uh, always wear safety glasses though even though this does not spin at an RPM that it's a 3450 uh, at an RPM that will exceed what these wire brushes are rated at they still like to fly out when you're hitting something with it but I use this just to clean rust or paint or just I use it to clean it's like a mini version of a grinder with a wire wheel on it of course it's probably you have space in there but you know just like that sometimes you have a wire brush on one well that gets into much tighter spaces and I have even smaller diameter brushes that can go on there to get in really tight spaces mainly I use this for just about every head that I take off of an engine to clean carbon just a nice light touch is all it takes don't take any material off just a nice light touch and what I plan on using this for is just simple little cleanup tasks and, and, and grinding tasks um, when I do go to use it I'll try to remember to pop the camera on and show exactly what I'm using it for to so get a general idea but this is a, a very hard abrasive right here and I can mount that and of course I've got different grades of stones different size stones so depending on what I'm needing it for just quick little allen wrench right there pops that one off throws another one on and I'm off and running to the races with whatever it is that I need to do so uh, it's just a, a little Oster motor but what this was originally for um, was to mount on the bed of a lathe not this lathe but on a bed of a lathe so that you can come in and true your jaws so that your work is more accurate because over time you know it, they just get wore out and you have to go in and you have to clean things up a little bit so that's what it was used for I removed it from the base and I'm going to make a base for it so that it can mount to the workbench and I'll probably mount it since it's not going to be the wire wheel of death which used to face the opposite direction it used to face this way and oh I'd catch myself on that all the time it always draw blood me you know, I run into a stone eh, I run into a stone no big deal um, but that's what that is going to be for Let's show you this one turned on in one direction I'll go the other way so it's just real nice um, that it's reversible and this has been mounted to this desk since 2002 when I purchased uh, this property that my shop is now on so um, that's giving you about 14 and a half minutes of the what's it and now that I have all of this wonderful space I can move tractors in here and be able to move around the tractors and not be tripping over everything um, but like I said I still have the table full of uh, go fast and pretty goodies for this engine right here which is going to be going into the 75 Chevy G20 van um, 
looking forward to getting that started uh, for anybody who's um, been following you know my health's been kind of iffy um, I suppose we can turn it around uh, I'm scheduled for an MRI magnetic resonance imaging I believe is what it stands for on the 15th of this month and hopefully we'll uh, get to the bottom of what I did to my back to put me down for five weeks um, and thank you everybody for being as patient as you have been uh, you've all been great videos are coming back out I uh, just posted one this morning this is Tuesday uh, Wednesday excuse me Tuesday it's not Wednesday now I have to look at my phone oh it is Wednesday how'd that happen anyway it's Wednesday November 4th um, okay yeah I guess that makes sense because I came out here Monday I didn't come out here yesterday uh, but I just posted a video um, this morning or yeah this morning uh, and um, hopefully there'll be many more coming along so for now it is time to shut the shop down so that I can go in and get a bite to eat I'll put those up another day and Ugly Alice is going to come out here and actually do plow duty. Uh, B12 is going to, going to get tucked into the garage with the weed cutter mounted to it. Just because it's such a smoker, I want it undercover, but I don't want it undercover in here. I don't want to blow the engine before I have a chance to get in there and um, hone, possibly have to bore the cylinder. And I have a bore gauge. Uh, on the way that's from two inch to four inch so i will be able to uh properly gauge cylinders instead of using my telescoping gauges this is one that we need to work on that's one we need to strip down and rid ourselves of this is triple x there's the sun star and we've got to get that uh, golf cart in here and I believe the golf cart is going to be the first thing that we take a look at. It has a starting issue. So now I've been babbling on for 17 and a half minutes. Doing, and doing absolutely nothing but babbling. So uh, we'll go ahead and call this um, the temporary halt to the shop reorganizing. Because work needs to get done. Other work needs to get done besides just reorganizing the shop and I accomplished a lot of things even with that five week intermission that we had you know, zip those green giants over here where it's happy I've got the old uh, red craftsman stacked over there Van Dorn got moved here the parts washer got moved against the back wall it's just everything's coming together the next monumental task will be this uh, southeast wall that's, the, that's facing east that's facing south um, this rack is going to get emptied out and these two racks are going to get emptied out uh, I will keep the bottom rack top one will probably go out to the garage uh, but <clears throat> I want to get another big rack like that and this space right here right next to the Van Dorn will be the perfect spot where I can put all of my engines instead of having all of them sitting out on dollies. So I'm going to cut it. That's it. We're going on almost 20 minutes and not a lot has happened. This is your friendly neighborhood Zippo. I want to hear the applause that we're finally done with the update, the shop uh, uh, reorganizing. Um, and we're going to start getting to work on stuff slowly but surely. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Helps channel out, and it lets everybody know that you support me. And if you want to give me a thumbs up, that's great. If you want to give me a thumbs down, just go ahead and hit it twice. I'm fine with that. Catch you all on the next one. Later. I'm out of here.